when it's a global problem, it has local impacts. And if you don't understand how climate is working in your country, then you need to. But also, you want to engage the whole community in finding the solutions. And that's where industry, working with academia and government together, can work very well. So Space for Climate, which is a UK model, is equally applicable to lots of countries. To us, there's been massive value in Space for Climate in the UK. Not only has it shined light on the need for collaboration across the whole community and bringing academic science, you know, the best science we have, right across from government all the way through to corporate use. Um, and, and, and actually, it has demonstrated the gap, actually, in terms of bringing all those different things together. An entity like Space for Climate is actually essential for bringing together these disparate, almost silos of um, end users that actually need to use all of that good climate science we generate through space. Having that kind of partnership agreement across private, public uh, and research kind of gives you that scope to look broader and really where Telespazio doesn't have the expertise in really specific um, capability, uh, academia can really kind of bring that knowledge so if it's a specific climate application, they have the experts in a specific field that we can bring on board and, and help support develop applications that we can then look at commercialising. The climate community and the earth observation community, they exist in, in each nation. Um, bringing them together as Space for Climate does really does benefit the UK because it means we have a kind of key selling point uh, and that neutral organisation that helps create those partnerships. So if other nations also had that then maybe we could set up an international collaboration as well with those other entities and with the entities that they represent.